Hi everyone, I'm Carrie Pena and this is Front Doors TV. I'm joined in our Inspired Media 360 studios today by Dr. Amy Diaz, who is the interim president of Gateway Community College. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. We are talking today about the Hug Clinic. This is a nationally recognized clinic and you are doing work that is transformative in this community. Explain to us what HUG stands for. Yeah, HUG is an acronym and it stands for Healthcare United at Gateway because we're Gateway Community College. Um, so the HUG clinic is a combination of different kinds of therapies and practices that we provide to community members at one of our campus locations. And the programs are run by our faculty, but the, the clinician part of it is actually our students providing practices to those people. And there are two missions, as I understand it, to provide free special, specialty health care to the uninsured and medically indigent and to train the next generation of health care workers. Now, you help on average about 1,100 people per year, and a lot of these folks would have gone otherwise without really crucial and vital treatments. Yes, that's true. Um, it's, it's a wonderful program. It was started by a group of our faculty who recognized that our students needed a little bit more hands-on practice with real patients. Uh, so they developed this program and we have about 200 students of our Gateway students every semester who provide one of five different kinds of treatments to the community members who use our clinic as a pro bono clinic. And, and let's talk about some of those therapies. So you're talking about respiratory therapy, um, physical therapy, assisting occupational therapy, and therapeutic massage. And I actually have interviewed um, some of the folks who have gone through that clinic because I am fortunate to be the MC mm -hmm. of your um, yearly uh, gala. And I remember on stage, one gentleman, his name is Juan, he talked about the respiratory care that he received. And he said that he it was life-saving for mm -hmm. him. So essentially, today he can live without his oxygen tank and walk well enough to return to work. And he told me that this clinic and, and the, the students and the faculty helping with this clinic saved his life. Yes, it's, it's an amazing story. Um, and it's one that we're so proud of. And mostly because he was referred to us by his physician um, and his insurance had run out for his treatments. And so he was able to come to the hug clinic and go through our pulmonary rehab program where he was allowed to attend as many treatments as he needed to attend in order to get back to 100% of his his ability to live his life the way he had before he was diagnosed with an illness. And to be clear, these are people coming to you that would not otherwise be able to afford that medical treatment. Right. Yeah, it's really two different types of of community members who use our clinic, either those who have insurance, but their insurance has run out for some reason, but they're not well enough to, to not be able to do additional treatment, or it's people who maybe didn't have any insurance at all. And this, as I understand it, is saving the community approximately $100,000 in healthcare costs annually. You're receiving national attention for this program. And right mm -hmm. now, the Hug Challenge is on. So tell yes. us what that's all about. Yes, well, we would like to raise $100,000 so that we can form an endowment to make sure that the Hug Clinic can live on in perpetuity. We wanna make sure that this is a program that our students continue to be able to provide services and, and kind of hone their craft of what they're learning and that we continue to serve the community in this very special and unique way. Community colleges are designed to serve the community. And this is a very, very special way that we can provide services to people who would otherwise maybe not have them. Uh, you know, one of the things we do is provide ultrasound um, appointments to uh, women who are pregnant. And if they're pregnant and they don't have insurance or they don't have insurance that covers this, they can actually see and have an ultrasound of their baby. And it's really, really special. So, you know, anything from providing that kind of service to a new mother or a young mother or a first time mother uh, to providing services that people would otherwise not be able to have the quality of life that they have. Uh, it's just a really, really unique program. And I'm very proud of our faculty and staff who run it. So again, the Hug Challenge, how long is that going to be going on and where can people find out more information? Yeah, so we're running the Hug Challenge through 2022. Um, we are doing some special kinds of events to help raise the money. And um, you can find out about it from our website. And there's an opportunity to learn more about some patient stories, learn about some student testimonials, 
and there's an opportunity to give right there on the web page. And if people decide they want to jump in and check out more information and they, and they do want to donate, where will that money go? How will it be used specifically? We want to be able to always have state-of-the-art equipment, always have some opportunity to increase the number of appointments that we have available. And that does mean having expert faculty and staff in the, in the room as well. You want to be able to help more people. Yes, absolutely. Dr. Amy Diaz, thank you so much. I really appreciate your leadership in this community and congratulations on all of the success thus far of the Hug Clinic. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. And thanks to all of you for watching Front Doors TV. I'm Carrie Pena.